What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Hope this video finds you well. Waiting on Bill and uh, we're fixing to hit the road. We're headed to Daniel Boone National Forest. We're going to drive the southern end today and um, check it out, find some cool stuff and find some places for future uh, videos and future camping trips, future everything. So we're just taking the day because I'm bored and wanted to do something so we're going to take the day to drive to Daniel Boone National Forest. So waiting on Bill, he'll be here in a few minutes. We are not taking the Jeep, we're taking my truck. Probably not the best decision in the world, but that's what we're doing. We'll be back. So we made Daniel Boone National Forest and I gotta show you this Look at this overlook we had another one down the road just a piece and it was not as scenic as this this is pretty but we're just doing the gravel stuff right now and as you can tell it's all gravel because that's what's on the truck so anyway, we're looking for dispersed camping. We're looking for Jeep trails, anything we can find. So that's what we're, that's the whole intention of this today. And we're gonna get back at it and see what else we see. And there's bugs. Everywhere. Dog pecker gnats or something. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> Like a driving trail? All right guys, so we come down one of the primitive roads or whatever they have it marked as. They can mark it as a dirt road, but it's actually gravel so far. But look at this. This is a sandstone arch right here. It's a big bluff too, dude. Well, this is cool. See, this is what you find when you get off the beaten trail and we're definitely off the beaten trail but 
I'll throw a couple pictures in. We were trying to pull up in here a little better, but this is sand, deep sand. And we don't need to get my truck stuck here. Because <laughs> we have no way of getting it out. But you can see where Billy is standing up here coming down, but that's a big arch. Like I said, he's going to send me a couple pictures of it. But that, dude, that bluff goes all the way down that way, doesn't it? This is cool. You imagine what it'd be like to get up on top of that thing? I bet there's a place to get up there. Probably so. Yeah, but where'd it go up here? No. Uh, that's, that's just weird that it's right in here. Yeah. All right, we're going to get back on the trail. That was cool. All right, so we found this picnic area down that way. There's a campgrounds that we will be camping in at some point. Gorgeous campgrounds um they are pay as you pay by the day it's like 10 bucks a day what do you i mean what do you expect now you can do dispersed camping there's several offshoots that's free but i would i, I don't mind paying the 10 bucks to camp in that campground because it was really nice but this is a picnic area that you can stop at man we have we ran into a u.s forestry the ranger I don't even think he was considered a ranger. But anyway, um, he runs around checking the campsites and collecting the fees and stuff that are left overnight. <clears throat> and um, I asked him the question, is there a chance we might see black bear? And he said, yes. I pray to the nature gods that we see a black bear before it's over with. Preferably while we're in the truck. But anyway, so we're going to get on down the road some more. This is gorgeous. This was well worth it for the day. But they have drop pots. They have drop pot up at the two campgrounds back down the road. Anyways, we're going to get on. Drive some more. She's she getting some dirt on her. I had to bring you back for this. So we picked up a little bit of trash. And we found this. When was the last time you seen one of those? Been a minute. But uh, anyway, we're fixing to get back on the road. We're going to take around. Like I said, we were talking to the um, U.S. Service, U.S. Park Service guy, wealth of inf information. And we want to go back and uh, go the route that I was thinking and begin with. Um, we may see some more cool stuff besides those overlooks we saw earlier. So. Let's get back in, having fun. Love this, love this. we see it before it sees us that's right so 
We are now in Big South Fork National Park. A lot of flies. This used to be a fire tower here. Uh, the U.S. Forester guy told us about it. I think he used to work at Big South Fork, and now he's up here. Yeah. But uh, anyway, we're going to work our way back into Tennessee through Big South Fork National Forest, or National Park. But uh, found lots of camping stuff, so we're going to definitely be coming up back up here camping this fall. It's happening. Mark it on your calendars. <laughs> but this is pretty neat. So let's go towards Big South Fork. want to wrap up the Daniel Boone National Forest video with a few closing thoughts. Uh, number one, appreciate uh, Bill going along with me and helping navigate with the, uh, with the maps and everything with the tablet. Um, super awesome. Uh, we had a great time. This is just the beginning of going to Daniel Boone National Forest. Now, I'm going to start throwing up some more pictures we took from there. Um, did not on purposely video the campgrounds because I'm going to say that because I will be camping there. Um, I'm devising a plan as we speak to go up there for a couple days. Um, go up maybe like on a Friday, uh, find a place to camp, camp, get up Saturday morning, drive some more, camp that night then possibly Sunday either going further or coming on home. I haven't decided how I want to work all that yet. Um, things to note about Daniel Boone National Forest. Uh, number one, it covers 21 counties in eastern Kentucky. And it also encompasses 708,000, sink that in, acres of land and over 600 miles of trails, whether it be driving trails, hiking trails, whatever. So to say the least that, you know, the little 39 miles in four hours we covered, wasn't even a scratch in the bucket for that place. Um, the downside to Daniel Boone, it takes me about two hours to get there. That's no big deal to me. I don't mind driving. Um, it, it, it was a pretty dry, it's a, it's a decent drive I've made several times, so it goes by pretty quick as far as going towards East Tennessee. Um, so I really look forward to going back this fall. And I look forward to doing an overlanding trip that takes a couple of days, maybe three days. It depends on what I want to do with it. I'll have time for from work where I can take those multiple days and do 
uh, multiple sites or whatever, however I want to pull it off. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Had a great time. Bill did too. There's going to be some Jeep content come out of this before it's over with uh, Big South Fork. Uh, there's some Jeeping opportunities there. So we're going to be going to, to run some Jeeps up to uh, Big South Fork at some point coming soon. Uh, I would say this later this summer or into early fall. So stay tuned for that. But uh, that's all we've got on Daniel Boone National Forest. It was a great trip. I loved it. Um, something kind of just came up out of a whim a couple days ago and I thought if I'm going to do what I want to do later this fall I need to do a test run to see how things go uh, truck did great you've probably already seen the video on that if you didn't I'll put that up in the little thing up above but I appreciate you watching thank you Bill again for going along with me and hanging out and uh, navigating we'll discuss navigation things again at some point i've uh, got something to learn got something i want to add and we'll move on all right guys i appreciate you watching be prepared see you on the next one